Why do we celebrate the anniversary of an assassination? Fifteen years ago, in the middle of a plague that nearly destroyed Dunwall, a paid killer assaulted the palace where I was born and stabbed my mother in the heart. In the aftermath, the men who sent the assassin tried to use me as a pawn in a game of power. They would have succeeded, but my father, Corvo Atano, hunted them down and cut their conspiracy to pieces. All these years later, am I the ruler my mother wanted me to be? Now, we face a new crisis. A monster the papers are calling the Crown Killer has been picking off my enemies and dressing it up like my father and I are responsible. I don't know whether to get on a ship and sail to the opposite side of the world, or to have everyone around me executed. Watch your step, Majesty. I'm not looking forward to all the ceremony today. Your signet ring. There. You're ready. Thank you, Alexei. Open the doors. All hail Her Imperial Majesty, Emily Caldwin. Loyal subjects. We're going through a difficult time, but today we honor my mother, the late Jessamine Caldwin. May her memory survive through the ages. Emily. You look tired, Father. Every year, I think the anniversary of Jessamine's death will be easier, but it never is. I wish Mother was still the Empress. I don't think I'm very good at this. You're still learning. Don't worry about the rabble-rousers, and we'll catch the Crown Killer, eventually. People are saying it's you, that these assassinations are a misguided effort to protect me. No, someone's trying to make us look guilty by targeting your enemies. I wish I could just run away from all this. Sometimes you do. You think I don't know about your nights out on the rooftops? Courage. The ceremony will be over soon. Royal protector and father. I should have passed a law against that combination of titles years ago. Majesty, before we begin the day's observances, we have an unexpected visitor, the Duke of Sirkonos. Ramsay says the Duke is bringing special gifts. That's intriguing. His Grace Luca Abel, Duke of Sirkonos! Mechanical soldiers? Amazing. What is this, Ramsay? I didn't authorize those things. Your Imperial Majesty and Royal Protector Corvo Atano, a native of our homeland. Sirkonis offers condolences on this sorrowful day and gifts to remind you of our nation, the rising star on the southern horizon. We thank you, Your Grace. Save your thanks, for now I give you the greatest gift of all, family. I present the lost sister of Jessamine Caldwin, your rightful Empress. Delilah Caldwin. Impossible. My mother had a sister? My dearest niece. Hello. It's not true. My father was Emperor Yuhorn Jacob Caldwin, and Jessamine was my younger sister. At the time of her death, I wasn't ready to make myself known to you, and I was forced to leave Dunwall. But now I'm home. If you really are my mother's sister, you're welcome to stay as long as you like. Little Sparrow, blackened by bad memories, I'm here to relieve you of your crown. My father's promise, whispered in secret so many years ago, is now fulfilled. Watch your tongue. Emily Caldwin is the daughter of Empress Jessamine Caldwin. Royal Protector, how naive to think you could get away with these murders. Living in my palace has protected you, but that's over. Hear me, all of you. 
Your rightful Empress has returned. All hail the Empress Delilah, first of her name. Arrest Emily Caldwin and her father for the Crown Killer murder. What? him in the Empress's chambers, and then I'll bring him to Coldridge Prison <laughs> until his trial. My father lost it all. Sent me to the city watch, one step above begging. Think I had to take your orders? Corvo Itano, son of a Zirconan tradesman. Captain Ramsey, I heard shouting. Lord Corvo, what happened? Ah! It'll be all, Captain Mayhew. Oh. So that's the Royal Protector's fancy weapon. What kind of sword folds in half? There's a legend in the City Watch, the Empress's last resort, the safe room inside your daughter's chambers, is holding enough gold to buy an island. And they say this is one of the only two keys. What? What happened? Alexei, the throne room, Emily. Nothing I can do alone. I need to get out of here. Sir, how long is it going to take, Captain Ramsey? Hold your horses, Corporal Dial. Ramsey knows what he's doing. The man's moving up in the These world. These bastards are working with Ramsey and the Duke of Circonos. And now that he's helped the rightful Empress take the throne, the Ramseys are going to be back in fashion in Dunwall. You'd be smart to remember that. I helped Emily get a frog unstuck from this old clock when she was 11. I swear I'll find a way to fix this. To bring her back. Dunwall always has a way of turning sour. Just as soon as you get comfortable. Lila took away the mark of the outsider. No more sorcery. I can't believe Ramsey's a trick. Uh, is Lady Emily all There's a right? There's coup underway. Emily is... she's imprisoned, for lack of a better word. You've got to get out of the tower. Maybe through Emily's safe room. There was a captain earlier today, down at the docks, looking for you. Get away, and help Emily. I'm sorry, Captain Mayhew. Goodbye. Disloyal dogs. Throne room blocked off, we should have the time we need. Just stay here and stall anyone who comes by. 
I'll be back when I've searched the royal chambers, assuming I don't accidentally lock myself in this damn safe room. We'll cover for you if anyone from the Duke's party returns. Huh, this is exciting. Everything's changing. Yes, the natural order is reasserting itself. The Ramses once hosted the King and Queen of Morley, did you know that? I spent my childhood playing with the buntings and the boils, the cream of society. And very soon you'll be back at the top, Captain. Ramsey's family fell from the aristocracy, and apparently the man holds a grudge. How it's anyone else's fault, that's beyond me. But one way or another, Ramsey is too dangerous to be left in play. Too late. Early retirement, Captain. Nothing will stop me from bringing you home, Emily. Out into the world once more. How many people had forgotten this mask? Until I understand this, I have to go into hiding. I should make my way to the docks. I've got to get out of Dunwall. Something's going on at Dunwall Tower all across this cursed city. Where are you, Kulana? <sighs> Came here to warn the world. Hey! Over here! Lord Protector, forgive me for saying it, but you look like death warmed over. It's been an unusual day. There's a coup underway, and I'm being blamed for the Crown Killer murders. My name's Megan Foster. I work with an old ally of yours, Anton Sokolov. We learned something scary down in the South, and I came to warn you. I know, Anton. The Duke's here with a woman named Delilah who's seized the throne. They have Emily, and I barely got out. For now, I have to get away, recover my footing. Bad things always seem to happen in Dunwall. Feels like the end of the world. I need to get to Karnaka, where the Crown Killer murders started. Delilah must have been down there for a while, and I've got to figure out what's going on. The dreadful whale will get you there. Should we go? Let's go. Something's not right, but it seems familiar somehow. I remember this endless cold. Where are you? You might as well show yourself. Corvo, old friend. Do I even have to say it? You've lost another Empress. I gave you my mark for a reason. I wanted to know what happens when you take an honorable man's life away. When you push his face down in the mud. What will he do, given the chance? And what a sight it was. You gave yourself over to blood and terror. Gave it everything you had. Then you spent 15 years making sure it wouldn't happen again. But now it has, and 
this time you know where it leads. Will you do it all again? Where is that good man now? I felt this so long ago. The void. It was still there all along. Feels as good as I remember. I know you. Do you remember? It's been so long. And you've been through so much. Even as an echo of myself. It's good to know you're there. Jessamine. If all I can hear are the last echoes of your voice, that's enough. Only the last of my essence. With you for a while. If only I could reach across this great expanse and take you into my arms. But I have this to offer, my gift and my curse. Summon me to your hand, and I will guide you when I can. In thousands of years, few have seen this place. Two were empresses. Who is Delilah, really? Jessamine's sister? Bearing the Outsider's mark. Delilah slit a man's throat for a pair of shoes and painted some of the most brilliant portraits of the age. All in the same year. Survival and ambition, art and magic. With a cunning that makes sycophants of those around her. All of it leading to what you saw at Dunwall Tower. Delilah's playing the long game, and now she's an empress. But I'll let you in on a secret. She's got her eyes set on a much greater prize. Just when you think you've got it all figured out. Just as you're starting to relax, you look up and there are wolves at the gate. Wolves with red muzzles. Hungry for your insides. Everything has turned to shit. Last time I saw Karnaka, I was just 18. Boarding a ship bound for Dunwall. It was dawn and I'd been up all night dancing, three sheets to the wind. I was puffed up with the old Duke's favor. And I thought I was the greatest swordsman the Isles had ever known. In the 36 years since, I've buried countless enemies. Most deserved what they got, but I wonder if that even matters. I've stopped dozens of assassins, but the one who got through eats at my dreams. Who'd have thought I'd come home to Karnaka, the most wanted man in the Empire, following the trail of a monstrous killer? Who'd have thought I'd be on the run again, ready to wade through another river of blood? Forgotten. 
Mudlocks, beggars, and orphans. Who speaks for them? Why do so many have so little? It was never meant to be this way. Places I wanted to visit with you. You're up. When you're ready to talk, I'll tell you what I know. All right, you've explained part of it. What were you and Sokolov doing here? The old man loved Karnaka, but he'd caught wind of a conspiracy tied to the Crown Killer. He wanted to warn you. There were reports about tensions rising. Corruption. Street violence. It's the sort of thing that happens, and usually the local authorities resolve it. The new Duke has let things slide. But Sokolov concluded he might be the head of the conspiracy. He came in looking shocked, and if you've heard his after-dinner stories, you know that's unusual. We were going to set out for Dunwall, but something happened. The Crown Killer. Yes. The hatch ripped open and Sokolov screamed. All I caught was a glimpse of someone carrying him across the deck. I followed as long as I could, toward Adermeyer Institute. It's run by the alchemist Hypatia. Maybe the Duke is using a patient of hers. The Crown Killer. Adermeyer was a solarium years ago. I'll get inside and eliminate the Crown Killer. Maybe the Alchemist will cooperate, maybe she won't. Either way, I'll try to figure out what happened to Sokolov, too. I would say good luck, but I don't think you want my luck. When you get done at the Institute, disable the Watchtower. Once it's down, I'll bring the boat around. We'll take the skiff to the shore when you're ready. Take you to Adamire by boat, but security's too tight. The Grand Guard have a watchtower there. Go inland and use the carriage station. Before his death, the old Duke of Circono spent decades building up Karnaka. After Duke Luca Bell took over, he started draining the wealth out of the city as fast as he could. Orgies and week-long feasts. I remember the old Duke Theodanus. He was a good man. Watch yourself on the way to Ademire. The Duke's given the Grand Guard run of the city. Strangers get attacked on sight. I can take care of myself. This is a good spot. Reach Ademire, take out the Crown Killer, and find out where Sokolov was taken. The Alchemist, Hypatia. She'll help if she can. Sokolov likes her. I'll see you later at Ademire. Just wait to bring up the boat until after I've disabled the watchtower. Welcome to Karnaka, stranger. <coughs> no need to cover your face. There's not much dust from the mines down here at the docks. Adermeyer Station. This should take me out to the Institute. As a response to violent crime and foreign interference in our affairs. What's going on here? Stop! Someone's not feeling well! I need help! Someone's been in the time! ...will be met with the exercise of force. Any complaints... Best chance for tracking down the crown killer. The place used to be a solarium for the idle rich where they flocked for rejuvenation treatments. It was founded just after the plague hollowed out Dunwall a decade and a half ago. 
Alexandria Hypatia is chief alchemist. And whether Anton Sokolov is still there or not, she's going to give me the answers I need. Patient of mine? I'm sorry. I... I should know that. I'm here to ask you about something. Do you cover your face because you were hurt? The afflictions we treat here are more common than anyone likes to admit. I'm not here for treatment. I'm looking for Anton Sokolov. Sokolov. Yes, he was here for a short time. But she took him away. To see Kirin Jindosh. Do you... Do you hear something? What about the Crown Killer? A patient of yours? The Crown Killer? That name came from the newspapers. I'm afraid I don't... Oh, yes, the murders. I was in Dunwall, studying diseases found among whaling crews. Wait, did someone just call me? I've been forgetting things. The Crown Killer is an interesting case. I feel almost sure I could help with that. It's just... I used to do such good work, and now my memory is failing me. Who is that calling me? Excuse me. We don't get visitors very often. Only one Bet I could make acid with this equipment. Pour it right down into the Duke's gullet. I didn't used to lose things like this. Discussing Adamar with non authorized persons will be court martialed and imprisoned. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Dr. Hypatia did this. She's the crown killer. But she's not herself. She d developed a serum, trying to help the miners. The first version caused horrible changes to her mind. <clears throat> it's too late for me, but maybe you can still save her. She's a good person. What can I do? In my safe, in disease treatment, you'll figure out how to make the counter serum help her. The safe code is 071. blood all over their tea and crumpets. But... Once that watchtower is down, Megan can pick me up.
leave this place yet. I don't like it. Ready now? Yes. Let's head out for the dreadful whale. You didn't find Sokolov. No, but I killed Hypatia. You what? She was the crown killer. The Duke tricked her into injecting herself with a flawed version of her serum. It changed her. She wasn't even aware of it. And Sokolov? He's been moved to the home of a man named Kieran Jindosh. The Duke's grand inventor. They say he's a genius. They die like anyone else. I need Anton Sokolov, but he's missing. Held by another inventor named Kieran Jindosh who no doubt wants whatever secret Sokolov holds in his head. Jindosh is the mad inventor who brought clockwork killing machines to Karnaka. They say he's got the most brilliant mind in the Isles. And it may be true, but a smart man wouldn't be standing in my way. I've got to find out where Sokolov's being held and bring the old man back alive. Rescue one genius and kill the other before he creates an army of clockwork soldiers. Jindosh is important to the Duke's inner circle. The Grand Guard watches his mansion, harassing people who look like trouble. You said there's a wall of light cutting off access to the carriage station. Yes. But there's a black market shop nearby. They sell on the sly. Ever use a rewiring tool? Yes, but it's been years. Good. Get past the wall of light, then ride the carriage to where Jindosh lives. And there's a reason people are afraid of his mansion. I'll see you after it's done. Corvo, take care of this crazy man and his clockwork soldiers, then bring Sokolov back. He means a lot to me. I'd be remiss if I didn't inform you about the defensive mechanisms employed here, which are quite formidable. Many have entered without invitation, for reasons as myriad as the fish in the ocean. But of those who've dared to explore further, very few have found their way back out. Build something like this, and why? Ah, someone's activated one of the mechanisms in my house. Jindosh. Welcome, visitor. My home is always open. It's one of my great curiosities seeing how the common mind navigates the shifting rooms. I'm Karen Jindosh, but you must know that. Before you stands an invention that will endure beyond my time. The Jindosh Clockwork Soldier. Marvel at the Clockwork Soldier. The clock is unexpected and truly impressive. Not many people would still be standing after that. I expected the courtesy of seeing you by this point. There 
Now that I see you, I've worked out who you are. Not a hired cutthroat. Your clothes are too fine. An aristocratic thrill seeker? That's closer. You trained with weapons formerly, but you're not a salon fencer. There's a good back alley in your movements. All that and only one man ever wore that mask, to my knowledge. Welcome, Royal Protector. Obviously, you're pleased with yourself. Do you know why I'm here? I'd assume my involvement with the Duke brought you to my door. Or maybe you're after washed-up Anton Sokolov, comfortably residing in the assessment chamber. Either way, come find me and take whatever it is you seek. But if you fall, I'll have your body carried to my lab for dissection and study. Until either comes to pass, your secret is safe with me. I'll see you soon, Jindosh. Until then. Clapper soldiers, there's an interloper in my home. And the main thing. Okay, the machine has exploration grid. Play back the protocol and the profile. Unauthorized presence. Somehow I got out of that alive. Sounds like someone's in the building. Should we wake the clockwork? It'll wake up on its own if a fight breaks out. Investigate the search for combat protocol. That mask you wear is exquisite. I detect Piro Joplin's hand in it. He made it, didn't he? But not on his own. There's another style there. I don't recognize. Sokolov. Kovo. Only you could have come this far. Megan helped me find you. We need to leave. Jindosh has plans for an army of his clockwork soldiers. He can't be permitted to build it. He won't. I'll be paying him a visit momentarily. <laughs> if I get through this, I'm going to grill a whole blood ox and eat the entire thing myself. So we've taken Sokolov. Now what? He'll be safer in the carriage, Sokolov. Then I owe Jindosh a visit. Sounds as if you're hurt. Perhaps you've lost a step with age, my dear Corvo. They say you confronted the infamous killer, Dowd, only to let him escape. But rumors can never be trusted. I won't let you take him. Sokolov was the great thinker of his time, and now he belongs to me. Play back in case and play back. The machine is over. Wait, wait, wait. Hmm. Another clockwork down. Each of those costs a princely sum, I assure you. Sokolov is safe. Now for Jindosh. I suppose Sokolov is now safe and sound. And yet here you are again, back from war. I've had fabled burglars, fortune hunters, and professional killers come through my door, only to expire. 
begging for mercy, crying out for release after only a few hours. Lucky. Sounds like the clockwork's ever. You're quite close now. I can't remember any other visitor getting so far. Give your pride. Second person to set foot in this room. Welcome to the final mystery, Jindash. You missed the rent on time? Maybe I just won't pay it all. You did it. How is he? Frail and wounded, but he'll recover. I didn't think it was possible. You must have a story to tell. I'll hear it back at the ship. The void again, but it feels different. I can pull you into this place. The outsider marked me long ago. I made you flee your precious tower and turned Emily into cold stone. How difficult for you. But when I was young, sweet Jessamine and I were closer sisters, sharing a secret. Emperor Caldwin had another daughter, born in shame to a kitchen maid. What's she playing at? Maybe how is the question? games in the tower, but at night I'd go back to the servants' quarters to cockroaches and thin gruel. Emperor Daddy would visit and tell me if I was good. Next year I'd be old enough to come to court to be a princess. Then one day, pretty Jessamine broke something worth a fortune, and the spy master caught us. She claimed I did it, and he whipped me in the garden house until I bled. My mother lost her kitchen job, and that night we were out on the street with no place to sleep. I didn't break it. Would you like to tell me the name? We were just playing. You're lying, Jessica. Who's your account? It was her. Delilah's lie. She broke it. I saw the nastiest parts of Dunwall, ending up in Debtor's prison. Jessamine died quick on an assassin's blade, but my mother lingered for weeks after a fat guard broke her jaw. They threw me out when she died. I looked up at the lights of Dunwall Tower and swore revenge. Washing bedsheets in a brothel, I painted on the side, until Anton Sokolov took me as a student. That's the polite word for it. 
I was crafty even before the Outsider marked me, and survived the worst the Empire could offer. Now, it's your turn. My mother's sick. She needs help. Your mother kicked off while you were out begging. She's another bag of bones now, girl. What? No! Your sentence is served and you'll be tossed out with the others. You can't stay here anymore. How much of this is true, and how much is Delilah's warped imagination? When I saw what they'd done to Anton Sokolov, I wanted to hurt everyone who'd helped Delilah and the Duke of Sirkonos pull off their coup. Sokolov is the man who made whale oil into a weapon, who turned back the plague, and now he's barely able to speak. The hands that painted the most powerful men and women of our time shake too badly to hold a spoon. When he does talk, he's going to give me a name, the next step along the way to Duke Luca Abel, then Delilah herself. A name, that's all I need. Jessamine, Delilah's stronger now. Am I to blame for Delilah's bitterness? All this is her doing, and she'll die for it. My decisions have weight, and I feel my time drawing to an end soon. Josh wanted me to help him with a rather complicated problem. It would have enabled him to make his clockwork soldiers at a fraction of the cost. Clever man. Not clever enough. What's wrong with people like that? A restless mind and an empty heart, perhaps. Jindosh would have snuffed me out as soon as he got bored. I appreciate what Corvo did for me. Freeing me from that place. I searched for you, Anton. I would have found you. I knew you'd try, Megan. They kept me going after they gave me to Jindosh. Either way, you're back now. I'm glad. Cool boy. Oh, the Royal Protector has risen. A bad night? Maybe you've been sleeping on goose feathers too long. Sit down when you want to talk. Anton, you've had three days to rest. Tell me how to kill Delilah. They tortured him. His body is covered with bruises. Delilah has the throne and she has Emily. Anton, once we had you in a cage and you dared us to kill you, I need that man back. Kovo, she's right. I can make electricity move from one side of the room to the other, but Delilah is beyond my understanding. When I came to Sirkonos, I meant to leave everything behind. But when the assassination started, I couldn't ignore it. By the time Megan and I connected the murders to the Duke, it was too late. The Crown Killer came for me. It kept me alive from my knowledge, but I saw things. Jindosh often had a visitor, Brianna Ashworth. The curator of the Royal Conservatory. Yes, Ashworth is dangerous, as obsessed with the occult as Delilah. Apparently, she's working on a device called the Oraculum. There's more to her than either of you know. If Ashworth is one of Delilah's lieutenants, I need to eliminate her. Who knows what this device is capable of, or what she's up to. We'll take the skiff. I don't want to bring the dreadful whale any closer than we have to. 
There is a small dock in Syria Gardens, close to the conservatory. That's as far as I can take you. Ready to go? Yes, let's go. There will be a Grand Guard presence outside the Royal Conservatory. Inside, be prepared for anything. Ashworth runs with an eclectic crowd. They'll be the real danger. Someday I'd like to know more about how you met Ashworth. I know you would. Trust me. Ashworth is important to Delilah. Which brings up something else. You might be able to exploit the Abbey of the Everyman in removing Ashworth from play. Turns out the Vice Overseer in Karnaka has been watching Ashworth. From a hidden outpost near the Royal Conservatory. Check it out first if you want more options. Remember, if she's still working with Delilah, Ashworth is a grave threat. Thanks, Megan. See you soon. Ashworth is somewhere inside the Royal Conservatory. So it's done. Ashworth won't be a problem anymore. Good. But Corvo, there's something else. Back when I lived in Dunwall, I did things that I'm not proud of. You live long enough, that happens. Yeah. But what I did is worse than most. 
I knew Delilah and Ashworth. Bought into their bullshit, which led me down a bad road. To be honest, before all this, I thought Delilah dead. I don't want to get into it right now, but I felt like you should know. There are things I regret, Corvo. Deception doesn't make for good allies, Foster. Is that what you think, Royal Protector? You will have to tell me all your secrets someday. Are you ready to leave now? Yes, let's go. Take me back to the dreadful whale. Another step toward the Duke of Sirkonos. And Delilah. Three years ago, Delilah was laying her plans. The Duke's people gathered at the home of a mine baron named Aramis Stilton to commit some horror in her name. I need to know how they made her immortal. But where was I three years ago? Letting Emily daydream through council meetings, teaching her fencing and back alley fighting. I always expected an enemy we could put down with a sword. Soldiers, spies, assassins. Instead, we got something else. Beyond the pale. Beyond the natural world. Instead, we got hit by someone like me. to know why Delilah can't be killed. Everything we've learned implies that something strange happened at Aramis Stilton's home three years ago, but then he disappeared. Stilton lived in a bunker kept secure by a fancy lock made by Jindosh. Maybe inside you'll learn more about how to stop Delilah. But I have to get there first, through a ruin created by the Duke, where I used to live. Megan had an intriguing idea. Paolo is leader of the Howlers. He wants Vice Overseer Byrne killed. And of course, Byrne wants Paolo dead too. Both groups will attack you on sight, but walk in with the corpse of their chief enemy, and they'll treat you like family. So that gives me at least one way into Aramis Stilton's house. I'm pretty sure that will work. Coming back here, seeing it changed, Run into the ground. Some people have reached beyond others. The old Batista neighborhoods, full of mining families, called the Dust District now. I didn't know Aramis Stilton. Who was he? Loyal to the old Duke. Stilton helped build modern Karnaka with those silver mines. Worked his way up from nothing to a fortified mansion. But the new Duke spends money so fast. The mine crews work all day and all night. The district's in ruins. The dust drives out anyone except the most desperate. The Duke of Sirkonos has made a mess of things. His father was a good man. True, but the new Duke's misery is only being possible with Dunwall's support. In any case, you'll have to pass through the Dust District. Maybe Stilton's still in there, or maybe he's dead. the dust district. She'll tell you more. I'll wait here with the skiff and take you back to the dreadful whale after you finish. Going back to Dunwall stirred up memories. Things I'd almost forgotten. Almost. Hello, Lord Protector. 
Stilton's home is just beyond here, but getting inside will take some effort. I've been doing reconnaissance, talking to people. The Overseers and the Howlers have divided up the district. Just ahead is neutral territory where no one will harass you. But further on, the Howlers and the Overseers both have boundaries set up. And beyond those points, they'll attack you on sight. Aramis Stilton is the real goal. Sokolov said you'd worked out a plan. Yes. I believe that if you take out Paolo or Vice Overseer Byrne, the other one will grant you safe passage and will help you get inside Stilton's home. Neutralize either one of them and bring him to the other. Got anything else? Byrne is protected by the Overseers. Paolo has the Howlers, but I think he's also got some kind of black magic charm. They say he's got to die twice before the sun sets, or he can't be killed. Good luck with that. Do you have any idea the good you've done? With Paolo out of the way, I've got big plans for Kanaka. I've heard about you and your ambitions, Vice Overseer Byrne, but for me, this was a means to an end. Does the Abbey remember its friends? Yes, we do. And our enemies. What is it you want? I need to get into Aramis Stilton's home. Now that's a curious thing to want. There's something very wrong with Stilton's house. It's actually a great concern to me. I need to know what happened there. Help me and you'll benefit again. Thanks to the Duke, we've lost our proper place here in Karnaka. And we've been fighting just to hold the streets against the heretic Paolo. But you stopped his black heart for me. And for that, I'll give you what you want. I'm listening. Interrogating one of the Howlers? 
We learned that some of them knew how to open up the Jindosh lock and enter Aramis Stilton's home. Probably just Paolo and a trusted few. What you're looking for is probably connected to why the Duke had Karen Jindosh seal up Stilton's home. All right, then. This might be the most worthwhile visit I've ever paid to the Abbey. I'll remember your help, Vice Overseer Byrne. As will I, Assassin. Jemmy's sister says you can beat any lock in the city. I'm not sure why Stilton's house needed to be shut up tight like this, but what do you think? Can you crack it? Give me a minute. Durante knows how to get in here. Paolo had him feeding old Stilton or watching him. I think this time's bad. I'll get the cigars tomorrow. Wanna buy one? That's it. The information was good. Time is an odd thing. I left Karnaka decades ago, excited about all that Dunwall might hold. I remember falling in love with Jessamine, watching her crowned as Empress. Emily's birth, the Rat Plague, then Jessamine's death and another coronation. Now all this, Back in the city where I was born, how many more lives do I have to take before it all ends? Stilton's home hides a mystery, but I'll tear it apart brick by brick to learn the secret of Delilah's immortality, as long as this ends watching her cough blood. Delilah might have pulled herself up from nothing, but I ran out of sympathy for tyrants and witches a long time ago. All I want is to put an end to Delilah and make sure Emily is safe. One more time. Definitely odd. Something just shifted. How did I get so old? Where are the Snap men out of it, man. The days. <laughs> the dumb. Three years ago, something inside Aramis Stilton snapped like a cheap lock. A part of him and a part of this house never left that evening. The Duke's inner circle are still gathered here, setting their grand plan into motion. Delilah's plan. And a part of Aramis Stilton is always here, still breaking. The Void is not exactly a place, and it's much older and stranger than you could ever know. It watches you from within, and at the heart of Stilton's house, the Void is leaking through a pinprick left behind by Delilah's little trick. Even magic is perverted here, and things don't work like they should. Take this. Imagine it's a kind of timepiece. Go and watch the Duke and Delilah. See for yourself what they did. By the void. The guests are waiting in the study. The Duke is demanding refreshments, and I can't get in without the combination. There's a note on the door, Captain Winterbottom. The wires inside would be better used strangling half the people in the aisles. Thank you, Corporal. Speaking bluntly, I really don't like Stilton's guests. Earlier, I got my ass chewed out by the royal curator. What's her name? You're talking about Brianna Ashworth, I believe. Yes, that's her. She's an odd one. Anyway, keep up the good work. Thank you, Captain. Warm the quilts, will you? I feel like it's going to be cold tonight. It 
it's so bright in here when I close. <laughs> Stilton wasn't born to all this. Allegedly, he started as a miner. Is there bad news from the mines? I can sense you. What's wrong with my house? Where are my guards? My servants? Am I alone in here? I'm never alone. Or I'm always alone. Everything is mixed up here. What happened? Things seem to be the worst here. The two times are overlapping somehow. Welcome again to my house. Let's get this over with. What we're about to attempt has never been done. It's beyond my understanding and certainly beyond yours. If anyone has any doubts, Set them aside now. This defies rational understanding. It's the frayed edge where natural philosophy crosses over into something else. Yes, I can feel it. We risk madness. The more I hear, the more I think this is ill-advised. Who wants to speak with the dead? If this Delilah really was killed or banished from the world, what if she's lost her mind? Delilah is stronger than before. The Duke and I have heard her voice whispering to us. And now it's time. So take your positions. Focus on the void behind the world. You can feel her power, can't you? By the stars! This is more exciting than any orgy I've ever attended. Wait! Wait! We can't really... Idiot! Here, returned from the cold, from forever. How curious. It seems to have worked. My spirit is safe now, inside this thing. Luca, you must lock it away. I can still see the insides. One has become a stone, the other reforged and marked by the one whose eyes are black. Poor Aramis. I feel obliged to take care of him out of loyalty to my father. Wait. You are hidden, but I know who you are. I know when you are. You've come to watch me return. And someday, I'll come for you. The void beyond the world is strange. I won't ever understand all I've seen. Focus on the void behind the world. You can feel her power, can't you? By the stars! This is more exciting than any orgy I've ever attended. Wait! Wait! Look around you. A crumbling island at the very edges of the void. This one is special. It's the place where my throat was cut 4,000 years ago. This is where my life ended and where it began again. It's where they made me. This part of the void feels older.
up until the end. I thought I'd find a way to escape. I fought, but the rooms only cut my skin, so I went limp. And then the knife touched my throat, and I knew I'd waited too long. The blood ran out, and I became a god. Now you know Delilah's secret. At the end of her days, she drifted to the void and should have been lost forever. But her will and cunning are second to none. She found this place. The island in a void where I became what I am. It changed her. And she discovered a way to draw from it. Tapping into the power here. Delilah is... a part of me now. And I don't like it. You have to give Delilah credit. She tore out a piece of herself and hid it away. Inside a thing made of bones. She's made herself immortal. If you want to kill Delilah, you're going to have to find her spirit and give it back to her. Reaching it won't be easy. But what comes after that might be the hardest thing you will ever have to do. The world is full of secrets. All right, back to the skiff. Sokolov should be waiting. until someone puts an end. Yep. Are you ready to leave? The dust is wreaking havoc on my throat. Yes. I paid a visit to Paolo and the Howlers, and I've been to Stilton's house. We can go. Duke Luca Abel tore down the old palace in Karnaka and built himself a new one, a monument to his ego. Whether he knows it's coming or not, I'm here to exact vengeance for everything he's done to me, my family, and the place of my birth. I'm going to show him what happens to those who threaten the Empress. After tonight, the Duke will either be dead or deposed, depending on how this plays out. I've got to get inside, take care of the Duke, and find a way to steal Delilah's soul. You deserve peace, my love. I've stayed too long. Find a liar's spirit. Trap her with this cage of dead flesh. Set me free. I don't understand. You will very soon. I can't believe it's taken this long for someone to go after the Duke. Another aristocratic boss. This is sucking the marrow out of the same people. Are you ready for this? I've broken into palaces before. They're made to keep out armies. Stopping one man with hatred in his heart is another story altogether. Killing off Duke Abel is only part of the puzzle. You've also got to find whatever it is he's keeping for Delilah. You were cryptic about what you gleaned from visiting the Dust District, which is fine. The world is better with a hint of mystery. But once you're inside the Grand Palace, whatever you do could affect things in Karnaka for years to come. Remember that. Everyone who crosses my path on the way to Duke Abel is going to regret it. They all deserve to bleed.
Should we head toward the palace? We should head out. At the palace, the Duke has a lookalike body double, meant to confuse assassins. A friend of mine washes the linens and said the double is a smoker, if that helps. Maybe you can talk to him. She says he's a nice guy. What a shitty job, pretending to be a tyrant like Duke Luca Abel. Why don't they just overthrow him? He's got an army, control of the mines, and he's had your support from the capital. At the Duke's parties, people carve up the country while eating boiled crap. There were parties like that in Dunwall. Toadies sucking up to Emily made me want to be back on the streets in Sirkonos. You're forgetting what that's like. I watched those party lights from the roof of the abandoned butcher shop where I slept. In the flooded district. I know you struggled. After years of court, I'm a nobody again. But what I've seen here will stay with me when I return to Dunwall Tower. Being in Karnaka again has given me perspective. Good. After you've eliminated the Duke, find what he's holding for Delilah and take it. When you're finished, I'll pick you up in the skiff. Stuff comes in. It's gotta get where it's going. That's why they call it the Black Market. Can't just sit here. Too much chance a Grand Guard catches on to us, or maybe rightful owners coming to pick it up. What's the delay getting it to the shop? Better you afraid we'll get caught? The guy that runs the shop is nervous. But if they just let us move it straight off the boat. Now, I got a friend over at the shop. Been running protection for black people. Ah! 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 Get ready to feel pain, your eminence. Trying to protect the Duke's quarters tonight? Nope. Hey! You're not supposed to be here! No use running! Ready? This ah! oh, damn! Ah! Ah! Was that a gun? This is exploded! Let's finish it! opens the Duke's vault. Ashworth made to hold Delilah's spirit.
This is it. Release me from this dead vessel. Free of this poison world and tranquilize the spirit. I won't let you go. I'll find another way. No. I don't want to see any more of what this world has become. It has changed you. I've done what I had to do. To preserve the Empire and to keep Emily safe. We had such dreams. But I no longer care what you do. Save my daughter. And release me into nothing. It's done. Now it's time to return to my Is the heart of my half-sister? Only her flesh remains. Maybe Delilah's spirit was holding it together. So, is that it? The fall of Karnaka? The Duke is dead. Long live whatever happens next. Back to the dreadful whale, then. And on toward Dunwall. It looks that way. To find a way to help Emily. And to give her back the throne. Ready, then? I'm ready if you are. All right. As you want. This is how the worst day of my life began. A masked man closing in on Dunwall Tower planning a murder. Dowd and the Lord Regent killed Jessamine, but it broke them. Now it's happening again. Another Empress dies. Another story ends. What will it do to me? Delilah won't go without a fight. She outfoxed me and I never saw it coming. But I was Corvo before I was the Royal Protector. Before I owned a sword I fought with sticks and broken glass, whatever came to hand. I don't know what grand scheme you've got underway, Delilah, but I'm coming to put you in your grave. I have no mistakes. Remarkable what Delilah's accomplished, coming from such a background, taking the throne. Now that we're here, I suppose you know where to go and what to do. You've killed a legion. So what's one more? One more, or a thousand more. Delilah deserves what she's about to get. At my age, I've come to distrust words like deserve. As I told you, I knew her long ago. Badly wounded, deep at her center, but cunning and looking for a way to pull herself up. Perhaps more than anything, Delilah had a talent for imagining the world as a better place. If only that could have been channeled towards something less twisted. Too late for regrets. Everyone feels some regret. Atop a long line, mine is now chiefly that I'm out of time. Take care of yourself. Goodbye, Anton. Megan is waiting for you on the deck outside. She seemed cagey earlier, even more than usual. Killers fighting over th Hey. There you are. I wanted a chance to talk. Megan, I'm taking this gift. I want to go to Dunwall Tower alone. All right. Do you know how you're going to kill Delilah? If you leave her alive, she'll come for you sooner or later. I'll do whatever it takes to end her and get Emily back. Just make sure you don't hesitate. Delilah's dangerous. You don't have to worry about that.
Take me to the Vault Tower. Bring me back to the cage of my own chest. Oh, I will. Delilah will be made mortal again. You let Emily's mother slip into oblivion. Do you know where my mother's resting? In a child's coffin. Her skin legs tucked beneath her. Because I couldn't afford proper burial. While my father rests in the Imperial Crypt. You're lying. You still can't accept it. You were sent to Dunwall as a gift, like a box of candies, because that's all you were worth. I had your mother's heart, and my body sleeps in your bastard daughter's bed. If I learned anything in Karnaka, it's that you only deserve to keep your throne if you're ready to roll out a red carpet of blood before it. We'll be face to face soon, and I'll end you, Delilah. Stranger, I saw the High Overseer fall. All is lost. Leave this place. The Abbey assaulted the tower. Somehow we were overcome. Not just Delilah's sorcerers and their grave hounds, but mechanical men. Automated soldiers. And the ancient music was useless against them. Rest now. But know that I'm going to end Delilah's reign. I swear it. At death's door, I smell the corruption of the void upon you. A heretic against a heretic. Laughable. The world is doomed. I can use the elevator to reach Delilah up in the throne room. to reach the security room to restore electricity to the tower and get the elevator working. My dear, lying half-sister Jessamine and I played as children. Where she first opened her bedchambers to you, then gave birth to your daughter. Where you let Dowd murder sweet Jessamine. The place that ruined both our lives. You have a twisted view of the world, and I have no idea whether you're telling the truth or not. But it doesn't matter. What has Delilah done to the throne? I will make my daughter. And there's no place in it for you. Long live Delilah Caldwin, first of her reign. Come 
look at me like you did before. Oh. You cannot kill me. I wish to play hide and seek with Jessamine in this very room. <laughs> you know that. And see how I will reshape all things. across Circonos. In Dunwall, with the death of Delilah Copperspoon, her coven lost its power and was smashed. The disastrous coup brought to an end. The rightful Empress once again seized her throne. And so it was that Emily the Vengeful rooted out the last of those who had betrayed her and ruled over her empire with her legendary father, Corvo Atano, standing by her side. In his day, Anton Sokolov lit the fires of industry, starting a great consuming blaze at the heart of the empire. He saw his machines used for war and oppression, watching the powerful crush those beneath them. Leaving Dunwall for the last time, he turned to the cold north, his energy spent at last, only an echo of the man he'd aspired to be. 
There are things that never change, no matter how hard you try. Questions you must answer. As Megan Foster faded from the world, Billy Lurk stepped from her shadow, setting out to discover her truest self and seeking the closest thing she'd ever known to family.